our worship experience. It's not about do this, don't do that. Do this, don't do that. That's not what this is about. You can worship in a crowd. You know, people say to me, Pastor, in, in worship service at the church, you know, everyone stands. Do I have to stand? No, you don't have to stand. Well, but everybody else does. I said, no, you can sit. Do I have to sing? No, you don't have to sing. You know, do I have to lift my hand? No, you don't have to lift your hand. But let me tell you something. Just being in the presence of God will move you. It'll move you. You're like, not me. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> my great-grandma wasn't moved by God. My grandma wasn't moved by God. By God, my mother wasn't moved by God. And I'm not going to be moved by God. Let me tell you something. One time when I was a young man, I was a young man a couple times. <laughs> but one time when I was a young man, I was working for, for Tammy's father, Bethany's grandfather. I was working for my father-in-law. If you ever have an opportunity to do that, I would pass on that. <laughs> He's in Washington, and he don't listen to tapes like this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I was working for my father-in-law, and I was what you call a gopher. I was a, an apprentice. I was working for minimum wage. I was working for like $3.50, and he wonders why I never gave him a good Christmas present. <laughs> I'm like, pay me more, and you'll get your good present. No, not really. Anyway, I was working for minimum wage. And uh, so I would show up 30 minutes to 45 minutes before all the journeymen would get there. That was just my job. I had to show up early. And I would get out all the cords, the 100-foot cords, and I would run them out to all the different houses uh, that were on the, the cul-de-sac, and we're framing all these houses, building all these houses. So that was my job. I'd get out the, I'd get out the saw. I would get, I'd get out the skill saws, the worm drives, and I'd put them out, and I'd test them to make sure they worked, put everything out, get everything that they would need for that day. I had a, I had a, a run sheet of what was going to be worked on that day, whether it was standing trusses or sheeting or whatever it was. And so I knew what tools had to be out in what units they had to be there. That was my job. Why? Because I'm being $3.50 an hour, and this other dude is getting like $25 an hour. Hello. And so he figured, the boss felt it was better for me to waste my time with that than their valuable time. Do I sound better? <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> I'm just preaching for effect right now. But that's what I had to do. So I get inside, and I've ran out the cords. I've hooked in the, hooked in the saws. I plugged them in. I made sure they're all right. And then the last thing you do is you reach down, and you test it. Is there any power to this, this saw? And there was no power one morning. Now, it's in Washington, which means it rains. And so there's rain, rain, rain everywhere. And so out at the temporary power pole because these units don't have permanent power yet there's a temporary power pole and this temporary power pole has it's kind of in the mud so in the mud they put down a pallet so you're actually standing on this pallet I did not notice there was broken glass around on the ground there during the night there had been some somebody teenagers whatever they had vandalized that power pole they had taken big rocks and they had smashed in the meter by smashing in the meter it had actually bent the prongs inside the meter and that box was now electri elect uh, energized with, like they said, right up out of the ground, like 1,600 volts of electricity. I mean, they're saying it's coming right up out of one phase. Is that right, Ricardo? I mean, we're talking about a full phase. Okay, we're not talking about twinkle, twinkle, little star, nine-volt <laughs> lights here. We're talking about light me up like a Christmas tree. As I lifted the panel to try to flip the breaker, all of a sudden, I felt power. And the power, because I was standing on a pallet wearing boot, rubber boots, it wasn't grounding me, which they say that's what saved my life, that I was not grounded. It was all of a sudden I kind of look and I'm realizing there are sparks. There's like this, like <laughs> electricity is like going across to my hand. And over here I look and I go, electricity is jumping from the unit across to my hand. And I'm like, this is not good. I saw this on a Frankenstein movie. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it blasts me back. And I had a, a double heartbeat for several days. 
it went here and here and jumped out here. It had a way to get out of me, I guess is what actually saved me. But all, my, all I'm saying is this. I came in contact with power, and it moved me. It changed me. I still, to this day, cannot, hair will not grow on my hands here or here. I had brown, big brown burnt spots for months. I smelled like a burnt sandwich. I smelled like, I smelled like a burnt... Yeah, it was bad. That was a burnt offering right there. I mean, it just fried my skin. Now, what am I saying? You're like, Pastor, please tell us what you're saying. I'm saying sometimes you come into the, into the house of God and you sit here and you say, well, I don't want to worship. You sit here and you say, I, I don't really feel like I want to do that. And all of a sudden, you come in pro, in, into, into contact with the presence of God. And next thing you know, it's like... <laughs> And you're like, what's going on? I'm like, look out on the right and the left because they're getting ready to go worship. <laughs> it happens all the time. I had a man say to me the other day, he said, I said, Pastor, I was standing in church. In fact, it was Tuesday night. Someone said, it to me, said this to me. I was standing in church and I said to myself, I am not going to sing those songs. I don't like those songs. I like hymnal songs. I like course songs. I don't like those kitty songs that Gary plays. <laughs> I was just being honest. They're, they're not my songs. I, maybe I dramatic that a little bit over the top. But he's like, those are not my kind of songs. And then I heard something, and I looked around to see where the sound was coming from. And I was singing, he said. <laughs> I was singing. I was singing the songs. He goes, I don't know what happened to me. And I said, next thing you know, your hand was in the air, wasn't it? And he goes, well, it started here. <laughs> and then it went here. <laughs> and then it went here. And then it went here. I think our team should come up with a new dance. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? You come in contact. Some of you are sitting out there going, you know, Pastor, I don't come to church. For all this, listen, I'm alive inside. I enjoy the house of God. I enjoy my, my time I spend with God. And honestly, I promise you, God probably just chuckled right there. He probably went, oh, Eddie, what are you doing? But I'll make him proud in a few moments when